Hey, Nancy, I see you survived Abby's seance. Man, that Veldez guy sure sounded creepy. I guess. Were you down here then? I don't remember seeing you. Rose told me all about it. So how are things coming along? Anything I can help you out with? Have you met Lewis Chandler? What do you know about him? He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. Can you tell me more about the accidents? I'd really rather not talk about that right now. Have you ever heard of someone named Valdez? I've heard of a Diego Valdez. He was a wealthy rancher who lived in the 1800s. Yeah, I just read a book on him for my history class. Was he from San Francisco? No, he was sort of a hermit and never married. But he was extremely generous. He gave away thousands of dollars. How do you like working for Abby? She's not bad. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on Rose's nerves sometimes. Abby thinks the house is haunted. Do you? I'm not sure. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. How does Abby get on Rose's nerves? She always does a disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. And I think Rose is sort of hatty, you know? Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. It almost sounds like there's a hidden message in there, you know? I'll let you get back to your renovation. Bye. It won't fit. Hmm, Lewis is up to something. Aha! That's it! Lewis, are you in there? I'll be right there. He's hiding something in his briefcase. Gumbo foo? What's that? speaking. Hello, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. How's your case coming along? Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? Hmm, sounds Chinese to me. Why don't you ask everyone what they think it means? It may have something to do with the house. In the meantime, I'll ask my friends about it. Gumbo foo. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Call anytime.
Charlie is responsible for these accidents? Abby thinks he is, but I'm not sure. I really trust in him, and I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Does Charlie live around here? He told me he just moved here from Iowa, but doesn't have a place of his own yet. He said he's staying with friends. Do you know what gumbo foo means? No, not that I can remember. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Don't work too hard. Hi, Nancy. What's up? Had you come across any hidden passageways down here? You mean like a trap door leading to a room with skeletons or something? No, I haven't. Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Bye, Nancy. I hope you're convinced now that the spirits are with us. These ghosts are here to stay. I found out how you rigged the seance table with a projector. <laughs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. But that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. Have you been creating these accidents to help your promotion? Of course not! I've had nothing to do with these accidents. They cost us both time and money. If you want to find out who's behind the accidents, ask our resident handyman. Do you mean Charlie? Ugh, it's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. What do you mean? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time, watching me. Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, I love that poem. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. How does the rest go? It was there when we bought the place. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. How long have you known Rose? A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Otherwise, we're just like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Yes, it was. How did you know? It must be one of our phantom residents. Do you know who this phantom could be? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. Did the house come with a lot of furniture? There were a lot of pieces and knickknacks left behind, like the books in the study, your bed. I think it was too large to take out of the room. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Gumbo foo? I love gumbo. What kind of gumbo is gumbo foo? I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Bye bye Hello, Nancy. I was wondering whether you knew anything about someone named E. Valdez. E. Valdez. No, I've never heard of that name. But I'll jot it down and let you know if I come across it anywhere. What kind of antique store do you own? It's a gallery, not a store. 
and it's called Chandler Interiors, specializing in the Victorian period. I have clients from all over the world, and if I don't have what they're looking for, I find it. Was this house once a hotel? That's hard to say. The house has been renovated many times, but several of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this house before 1906. Do you know who Lizzie Applegate was? Yes, I certainly do. She was a very popular actress in the late 1800s. She was very generous and left all of her money to the Ladies' Protection Society. What was the Ladies' Protection Society? A popular charity in the early 1900s. They helped widows and orphans. Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, that one. Yes, it's just some cheap Chinatown souvenir. Do you know what a phoenix is? Yes, it's a mythical bird-like creature that builds a nest every 500 years and then sets itself on fire to rise forth reborn from its ashes. It's a very popular symbol in the Bay Area. In fact, there's one on the main staircase. Do you think Charlie is doing a good job? Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very quickly. He's just what Rose and I need. Do you know what gumbo foo means? Where did you hear that? I read about it in a magazine. I see. As I recall, it means house of great books. After the great earthquake, many books and documents were stored in private homes to save them from the fires. The Chinese called those houses gumbo fu. I won't keep you any longer. Good day. When the moon sleeps and the sun plays. Who has called me forth from the great beyond? It's stuck. The king of the sky will shine his ray 